guys I am back home but as you can see I got a little tan and I'm looking so nice um, the Sun was so good for me I needed that time away but yeah and I just got this lemony shirt that I just got I've been looking for the perfect yellow linen shirt and can't really find it um, this one is a little bit too yellow but this one will do for now um yeah i mean it kind of matched my hermes now i'm just like i should have gotten the yellow louis v bag but maybe it would have been like too much yellow going on yellow is really my favorite color color um but i like this color though it's not the one that i'm looking for i wanted it to be a little bit lighter kind of like a lemony h&m has one but it ha it's super oversized and it has pockets i do not like pockets in my shirt in a way because i just feel like it's a little bit too structured with the pockets i like something with no pocket because it kind of like you know give you like a softer and more feminine look i'm looking for some other white pants that i have i cannot find them from banana republic they're like the best investment from last year so um i will find them because i don't know how i feel about these shorts this is a size small i think maybe i need to go put on the size extra small but i am ready I'm about to go out on some errands pick up some things but uh, I did get my Farfetch order. This is their shirt, as you can see. That's nice. Um, but let me show you the blazer that I got. Um, I don't know if I'm going to return the blazer and actually get that tube dress instead. So let's try on the blazer and see how it is. Guys, I know the colors are not making sense right now, but hear me out. OMG. I thought I was going to return that blazer because I really want to get that tube dress, but... I'm just gonna end up buying that tube dress i know it's like 600 bucks but honestly it's worth it because i really want to keep that blazer this blazer is a little pricey it's like in the 600 the brand is asino asino i don't know but wow remember guys before i used to be a dress girl i used to be a blazer girl like blazer used to be my weakness and i used to only wear camel blazers and i'm so happy this year that i want to introduce a little bit more color the next color that I want is kind of like a lemony color, um, like a pastel yellow blazer. But this is kind of like a pinkish coaly. OMG, this is so stunning. Again, I want to buy the mat. I want to find the matching pants for this blazer because this is so stinking cute. I'm gonna see if Aseno has the pants for this blazer. Like, wow. I love this. I just feel like it's such like a fun color to wear with all the whites especially you know um when i i mean obviously if i'm traveling and stuff like that i can wear that but i would even wear it with this color honestly i think it's just like a nice little color block i don't think it's a color block that i've ever seen before but yeah i love this blazer i'm gonna you know when i do the haul i will pair it with something that looks a little bit better but um until then do not mind the mess because i am cleaning everything out guys remember i am moving so i am kind of like getting rid of a lot of things so over within the next couple of weeks my house is just gonna look like a project so yeah do not mind okay guys i've changed into this white dress i'm actually gonna go to blue mercury to do some shopping because they are having their summer party sale from June 2nd to the 8th. I hope you guys get a chance. I don't know if this vlog will be up before then where you can actually get a chance so to do that. So if you want some beauty bits right now, now it's a really good time to do it. You can use code SUMMER to take 20% off your order. There's a store by me. Um, which I was actually pleasantly surprised to find and I'm very very happy about that so I'm gonna go to the store to pick up some of my favorite products and I already have some of my favorite products here which I'm gonna share with you later I just received this before I went to Miami I actually took it to Miami with me and I must say I am kind of quite obsessed with this the Hydra Boost Water Cream Collagen Plus Peptide Hydrating and Firming oh this is so good and then this is one of my favorite with Vita Blast C, 20% cream. This stuff is amazing. It has vitamin C and E, um, 
which is really good for your skin and then of course another brand that is my fave is Chantecaille you can find Chantecaille this is the modern gloss this was oh my goodness amazing and they also have like a gradual tan which I have tried and love and of course Lone Star is another brand on Blue Mercury that I absolutely love I'm gonna spray some perfume I have Ideal Oud from Men's Sincere this is one of the best one out there I left the other one for my cousin because they're gonna send me a new one oh my goodness okay, my Uber is four minutes away I'm actually gonna go um, wait outside and then I can't wait to show you that there's actually uh, I'm wearing this anthropology dress which I'm pretty sure it's sold out by now but um, I have to remember what I picked out but I do want to do a giveaway for you guys and do a little giveaway from Blue Mercury and share some of my favorite products with you In. and first up is M61 this is one of my favorite brands that Blue Mercury carries because everything from this line is just incredible I've just shown you some of the products that I love and I can't wait to and then of course we have Loon and Aster another one of my favorite from Blue Mercury I have all of these, I've shown them to you guys and each one of them is from a different girls charity that they support which is amazing, such a great cause and I'm showing my favorite palette, it's the evening palette from Moon and Aster because of this kind of like olive green color it's so beautiful, look at all the glosses, I also got a blush so if you have a Blue Mercury by you, I highly highly recommend you stop by and stock up on all the beauty products that you're going to be needing this summer and you have a lot of other brands that you guys are familiar with like fresh colorly another one of my favorite uh, so oh margot disco so many brands guys abby is totally being an influencer right now It'll be pretty, okay? All right, Abby, learning from the best. I didn't teach her that, guys. Like, she knows all this stuff on her own, and I'm like, every so time, and I'm like, where do you learn this? And you'll be a star, okay? <laughs> okay. So, Abby, I should hire you to do my marketing for me. Okay. So, and this is the best plus ever. It's really good, though. It's from Shantakai. It's called Modern. Um, the shade is Modern. It's so beautiful. It's like a really 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 like pretty pink color it's one of my favorite glosses i know i talk trash about people that says oh i don't wear makeup like it's just like okay give me an award or something like that this is like do you want an oscar for not wearing makeup but um but i must say i've been really really enjoying not wearing makeup especially since my eyebrows have been done and i'm like wait a minute <laughs> um now i just have to kind of like work on my skin well, I'm gonna go back for my mm. touch up anyways, so I can get them even and better. But just like um, mine. But now, yeah, yours are perfect. But yeah, mm. I have to work on and my skin now. Uh, remember, I couldn't do my skincare routine, and then a little bit stress and my environment also. I feel contributed to that. I don't know. I feel like something in my house is just like when I'm here. I'm like. Mm feel a bit weird and stuff like that so it's raining raining it's like i've never seen a may like this and i'm like i don't know what's going on with this weather but it's just like something is just up yeah, something it's like is so off crowded. it's just like it's it's three o'clock guys like this is summer at three o'clock like really like, what there how be... does it rain is there a rainbow i don't know and it's been raining all week so i'm so so happy that i was not here for this nonsense um and there was sun outside when I went outside, and then now it's just like rain. Maybe I should just go out for a rain shower. Oh, me, I'll be go. Got dirty little feet. I have to keep them clean for the next person who's going to inherit them. Interested in buying these chairs? Hit me up. All right, we're gonna go. I'm gonna finish Abby's food. I'm already hungry, actually. I think I'm gonna order food again. 
Well, I mean dinner. Actually, I'm gonna make a shake. That's what I've been doing. Oh, actually, I mean, I mean to cut my bananas and freeze them. Cause last night, um, cause I froze some bananas before I left, and I'm so happy that I did that because when I came back last night, it was late. I couldn't really order food. Um, I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I didn't want to. I made a shake and oh my goodness, it was so freaking delicious. So from now on, I'm gonna freeze my bananas. Make sure you get one of these green dashes that are so perfect. No, they're not. Hey, hey. They're not. Yes, they are. Not. Stay up. Not. Good yes, morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Who remember this wig? I bought it because I wanted to kind of like go back to kind of like the blonde hair that I used to do back in the days. And then I was like, okay, maybe that would be a good way for me to ease myself into it. But I just did not end up. I ended up cutting it. I don't know why I cut it. But um, obviously, I haven't done anything to it to style it or do the parting and maybe put some gel on it or something like that. So it's looking like a mess right now, but I'm thinking, I was just like, maybe when I move, I could actually bring this with me and kind of like stretch up my look a little bit. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna do that. Like, look at this, this would be cute. I am liking it. My mom is here to help me out. We are cleaning. So yeah, I put all this stuff, you know, for her to take out. So with going out the garbage and stuff like that, but I wanted it to show you hello guys i was supposed to drop my mom off the ball her car so i can go to home depot to go get moving boxes i ended up going to lowe's because i prefer the boxes at lowe's better because they have the hole on the side you can actually carry them which is pretty cool and i used to work at lowe's so i'm kind of like biased in a way and then i'm just in the mood for like some really really good steak so i am coming to this vibes cafe which is a caribbean spot is jamaican so i cannot wait let's go in you guys it's called the vibes cafe caribbean spot and the service is actually pretty amazing typically you know like caribbean's place it's just like if the worst the worst the service the better the food but um i could say that which is a problem that i typically have with caribbean place because of customer service it's so bad but this is the best customer service i've ever had at a caribbean place honestly it's just oh so nice but i'm excited for my food i was just like in the mood for like some jamaican food so i got the jerk chicken because the griot which is kind of like haitian pork you know which is like a national treasure um it would take 45 minutes for that so i was just like eh. but honestly though i think i may order some griot to go Guys, the pollen is so bad today. Oh my god. <coughs> I was in outside for three minutes. <coughs> but, um, so I guess they're working on the grill. So he said, depends on, um, on how it's looking. He'll let me know. Then he'll put the order in for me. So by the time I'm done, then I could take it to go. But I've been really loving making my shake at night. I just love eating a big lunch and then have a shake for dinner because when I have the shake for dinner I can just put all my powders in there you know my maca powder my ashwagandha my um, yeast I'm gonna see if they have a health food store here if I can find some on 45 yeast which is kind of like B1 and stuff like that which is really really good for you so i'm gonna see and then you know i just put my protein in there my um my collagen protein so i've been loving that at night time um yeah because i feel like I, I get i could go to bed and then all of that can just do their work whilst i'm sleeping which feels amazing rather than actually eating eating and stuff like that so i've been very happy with kind of like my diet a little bit you know i'm trying to eat a really really big lunch and then um oh this is good the pineapple ginger juice i don't know how much real ginger and pineapple is in there but it's actually quite nice and um i'm trying to see if i should get a patty to go to i, th I think i'll probably do like a like a mild beef patty they have a curry chicken patty a veggie patty Ooh, jack chicken empanadas so 
I'll see. But I feel like that's probably gonna be too much food. But whilst I was driving down here, it actually kind of like got me thinking and I'm like, oh my goodness. I guess this whole time I've just been trying. You know how many times I've changed my mind about the car situation? Like so many times. Like at first, when I first moved, I wanted like a Kia something and then that didn't work out and i changed my mind i was like oh i want a tesla then i'm like oh no i don't want to build i don't want that tesla's cool and then i'm like what if i just decide to move because you guys know me i am i am like a nomad i've always considered myself a nomad you know i can't really see myself being in one place for too long um even in the city although i was in the city for like close to 10 years i was still kind of like moving from borough to borough like all the time um you know like i would be moving every two years and a lot of you guys kind of like related to me with my air with my crazy aries um energy like we just do not stay in one place i thought i was bad moving every two years one of you say you move every year and i'm like oh my goodness which is how i feel usually after one year at one place i get really i don't know what it is i just get bored like so so fast it's just like I want something new I want a different scenery and again it's not me wanting for my happiness I'm like very happy person naturally but for some reason I just want like a new scenery I just want new things um, yeah so again the cost situation just was not working it doesn't matter what I tried it just wasn't working so I finally changed my mind I was like because I was just like I'm gonna move you know out of the country and everything and when I finally decided I was like, oh my god that's why the cost situation hasn't been working is because like you know I am moving and I was like okay let me get like a used car used car that's gonna last me for like a year and then I finally find someone who knows car who's really good with cars who was gonna help me out and then he decided that oh he's not gonna help me out anymore I was like okay fine and then that's my thing um ever after going to my spiritual experience when things happen i just see it as a sign that the universe is trying to like you know preventing me from something or you know keeping me from something because there's another plan that's how i see things which is which always works out in my favor when you live your life like that when things don't happen the way that you want them to you just I don't know I'm very very happy because I was like oh that means you know what that means my subconscious is trying to tell me something and then you know it's probably you not listening because you're trying to force something I was trying to force getting the car so bad so fast you know so I can drive around and do nonsense and do all that stuff and then I was even looking for like an assistant and photographer that wasn't working either and then I'm just like I just keep asking myself I keep asking the universe I speak to the higher power I know I sound crazy right now but um I don't know I just feel like I can I just have like the same way I have conversation with you guys that's how I have conversation with the universe or higher power or God whatever you believe in you know i was just like talk out loud in my room at night i was just like universe you know tell me exactly tell me the plan tell me exactly what's going on as to why this is not you know like working hello guys the food is here and omg that looks so freaking delicious like wow 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 i feel a little weak though when i don't eat oh my goodness it's already almost three o'clock and i have so much work to do when i get home i have to take some content photos Wow, that looks so good. Let's go ham. All right, guys. Let's see how good this food is. So good. So freaking delicious. I paid the meter for like an hour, so I feel like I should be good. As much as I have a problem with Jamaicans calling their rice and beans rice and peas, it's so good. <laughs> Hello guys, I am back home. I've got my boxes. I'm going to start packing my winter stuff, um, which I'm going to put aside. I'm going to leave them at my mom's house just in case if I decide down the line that i actually want these things and stuff like that and then i think i'm going to pack all kind of like my vitamins and stuff like that 
to um to send there i think i mean i could probably take them with me in my suitcase yeah i could take my vitamins but there are some other stuff my supplements kind of like my peptide which i don't think it's available where i'm going so i'm going to make sure i pack all these things because i have backups in the kitchen again everything must go i am thinking of actually saving my bedside table because i love that bedside table so much it's penelope by west elm and i found it on sale for like a hundred something at the paramus mall mall like five years ago and um i know these days if i had to buy it it would have to be full price i'm not sure if they even deliver to the country i'm going to but it is somewhat clean because my mom came and she took most of the clothes that she needed i sold some stuff and i'm gonna list some more stuff i need to stop procrastinating which i'm not really doing what's going on back there are they having like a concert at the park i think they are but and then i need the box because i am gonna pack my nespresso machine and mail it to maria with all the coffees and stuff like that i'm gonna do that um and then if anyone is interested in buying my bar, let me know to be picked up in Jersey. Mm -hmm. Let me know also my French chairs. You can have them inside. You can have them at a little breakfast nook. Or you can have them outside if you want to. It's up to your personal preference. I don't care what you do with them. Um, and things like that. So again, just DM me for prices and everything. This, I think I actually paid 270 I don't know, close to 300 for this so i would probably take 200 for this i mean i've already built it so i would take maybe 200 for this to be picked up here and jurors i messed up one part which you can actually fix um quite easily because that was the first part that i put together and then this ladder i've had this ladder forever it's like a I got it at a vintage spot and then this i'm actually thinking i probably want to keep and have that you know mail to me or something like that L they're down the line if i decide to kind of like stay you know over i mean extend my stay and things like that so i'm thinking of packing this really 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 nicely and um and actually keep this to be you know mail down the line so i may do that but um as far as kitchen things my mom's gonna take all the kitchen stuff because i don't have that much kitchen stuff and i don't have any kitchen stuff i honestly want to take with me to be quite honest i am good to part ways with everything the, the only thing that i want to keep maybe this coffee little this mug but probably not it's just not worth it and then of course all my vitamins i'm gonna pack my vitamins in my suitcase obviously and then um my collagen peptides i need those badly i'm gonna see when they expire just to make sure i have enough time because if they expire in 2021 then that's not enough time at all oh this expires 422 okay maybe i'll take this with me but i feel like i should be able to find like you know collagen stuff over there which i should be good for i think i'm good honestly um again i'm not one to just be very sentimental even when i move out of my city apartment i left my i left my entire living room is it living room yeah i i left my entire living room um i left everything my couch everything like that because i didn't want to take it and i'm definitely going to pack that painting because it's one of my favorite painting this is so easy you just wrap it i have the thing for it so i'm just gonna wrap it and then this closet this is a closet which i need to tackle today is this closet over here i have a lot of stuff hello guys it's much later now i've kind of like my closet over here which is kind of like my depot i need to get packing i need to get rid of things and just like be ready for when things happen so i could just like get up like that um after years and years of just like you know moving everywhere so i think i've kind of like gotten the hang of it where um i can just have like a better understanding last time i packed my house in one day 
I was able to do that because Karen helped me. If it was just me packing, I'm not sure I would have done it in one day. Last time I packed by myself in one day was the Bronx, which is a place where I had probably the most stuff. Yeah, that's the place where I had the most furniture, even compared to here. I don't even have that much furniture compared to the stuff that I had in the Bronx. In the Bronx, I had a full living room, dining room, bedroom here i only really have my bedroom i don't even have dining room i only have these two chairs which i am selling i'm so so sad to be parting ways with these chairs because i love them so much i would have loved for them to follow me wherever i go but unfortunately that's not the case so they each come with the ottomans so if you want the pair do let me know um ottoman and chair in total cost about 330 the ottoman was like 90 and the chair was like two something 250 so if you are interested in buying the chairs do let me know i will give you a good deal if you buy with the ottoman i will probably sell it for the price i bought the chair which is like 250 i would not even like count the ottoman so technically you end up saving like um a hundred bucks or maybe i'll just sell it for 230 so that way you end up you know saving like a hundred or 120 bucks um again to be picked up only it can go if you have an suv is this will fit behind your car it fit behind my mom's car i actually just bought them you know and fit them behind my mom's car and then of course my fireplace dm me for the price or email me for the price to be picked up in jersey only the fireplace i bought that for 1500 so i will do a discount on that as well um so if you wanted that fireplace so badly dm me for the price and my mirror i will be selling this mirror not this one this is my beloved mirror so that mirror i'm gonna leave it with someone but again guys everything must go by the end of this month and we only have like three weeks so which is why oh my goodness i have so much work to do but i haven't even been able to focus on my work because i've just been focused on getting rid of things again which is why mm, it's for that reason where I kind of like loved living in the city actually because I didn't have a lot of furniture in a way. So it just felt like, oh, it was just my bedroom. I can just pack it up, which is still a lot. Um, even my friend Vanessa was like, how did you pack up that much stuff in one place? So yeah, so I'm selling this mirror for 50 bucks to be picked up in Jersey only, Bergen County area. So if you live in Bergen County or if you have a car, you want to come buy any of the stuff, let me know and oh yes i have to list that lamp i'm selling that lamp so i've listed a few things on facebook marketplace so um so far nothing yet on facebook marketplace which is why i want to come in here on youtube and let you guys know just in case if you want to come check something out it's like i should have started kind of like selling stuff and getting rid of stuff since i just knew back in february that i wanted to move but because i had given myself a year then i was just like oh okay i have a year to you know kind of like start doing it but now i just realized it's just like why not just do it when my lease ends um which is in a couple of months so um yeah my tea set also 50 dollars if you want to buy that Again, I cannot pack it for you. It would have to be picked up in Jersey. Good morning, guys. I always tend to like turn on my camera as I'm walking around, which is such a bad habit because I need to actually kind of like sit down and talk to you because most of the time I'm like shaky all over the place and it's not a good thing. So it's today's Sunday. I just realized I was rewatching my vlog and I just realized how much of a terrible vlogger i am because i'm like so shaky i can't even show you the spots you know i was uh, my west palm beach vlog by the way and i'm kind of like all over the place and then i'm like oh my goodness like i need to do better i need to be more kind of like concise and just know what i'm showing you so i'm not like shaking and just like walking around and you know have the camera steady in one spot to actually kind of like show you what I'm looking at something has gone awry on my camera settings um, there used to be a setting that used to be there I just don't can't find it anymore so I don't know what's happening so today is a big day I've listed on my Instagram stories that I am moving I am selling my chairs 
fireplace a couple of people reach out and you know about the fireplace things so um and the chairs and i've listed some stuff on facebook marketplace my lamps so i haven't posted my lamps yet on instagram stories which i'm about to post because i think those will go really really fast because i love those lamps so so much um and i have another lamp over here actually that i need to sell as well how much did i pay for that lamp i don't remember i think it was like a hundred something so i'll probably sell it for like 70 or like 50 bucks something like that but um i'm very excited like it's actually kind of like coming down to me where it's just like oh my god it's happening like it's happening like you selling your stuff even my bedside table which i don't think that i would ever sell because it's such a beloved piece of mine i just love that bedside table so much but the bedroom is just like such a disaster right now so i can't even show you i'm about to make my coffee I need my mother to come over here and just like pick up all this nonsense. I'm actually about to start cleaning now. I'm about to go out and start throwing stuff out. I'm gonna wash my coffee thing. It's so funny. I've missed this so much. I haven't used this. When did I start drinking coffee? I started drinking coffee from that machine. When I moved here actually, that's when I started drinking coffee from this machine. Which was... I would say on like November, December. Yeah, that's when I bought this machine. Um, I actually bought one and then Mungo gifted me one. So the extra one is at my mom's house. She's actually going to send it to my cousin, which I went to her house. She needs it badly because the coffee is terrible. Um, and then I'm going to send this to Maria, my cousin, who's, you know, um, over there. Also, um, I don't know yes if I'm going to... Yeah, I have to send my milk for her because, again, the plugs are not going to work wherever i'm moving to so i'm going to miss my milk fluffer but i can always get another one from amazon so but this i will take with me everywhere honestly this is my little trusty this is my little baby there's nothing like a coffee pot i mean a mocha pot i call it the italian mocha pot but a, a lot of caribbean places like cubans a lot of us we use that mocha hello guys i wanted to show you my lunch for today this is everything that i put in my um smoothie so what i've been doing it i've been eating a heavy lunch and then i would have a smoothie for dinner but today since i'm in the midst of cleaning and i've got so much work to do so i don't have time to actually make a salad and cook the chicken and do all that stuff so i've got some frozen bananas over here I've got some oat milk and then I put all this stuff in there. I used two tablespoons of almond butter for protein and then also I put the collagen. I put both of them in there and I use nutritional yeast which is a form of kind of like B1. I use maca powder, ashwagandha and of course flaxseed. Let's go ahead and make our smoothie. Just gonna go ahead and enjoy this hey guys this is all the coffee that i have can you imagine i still have the other bowl filled with coffee look at this honestly this nespresso machine was probably one of the worst things that i've done <laughs> of course if i had to get like a machine if coffee machine again it would still be the nespresso because this has the best quality coffee out of all the coffee machines out well i wouldn't say out of the coffee machine there's another one that actually is really really good all right, I need something cushiony to put this coffee machine because last time I mailed something to a friend, UPS just completely destroyed it. So I have to make sure this is packed really, really, really well. So I'm going to pack all the coffees separately, all the coffee pads, and then I'm also going to send her some of my favorite collagen powder. I'm going to send her two. I'm going to send her my favorite, which is the creamer, and then I will also send her... The peptide if she makes like a shake or something like that she could do that and this is for my jamie beck i'm about to roll this print up and put it in here this is easy just pick it up the wall and the person who's buying the chairs are coming 
so yeah good morning guys i am actually sitting outside getting my daily dose of vitamin d i think it's very important the sun is very good for your skin it's very very healthy of course do not pass the limit you know you don't want to get burned and things like that but i would say about 15 to 20 minutes of sun exposure every day especially before it's just like too harsh it's very very important it's very very healthy especially after the year of health things we've had where we're just like inside not really being outside so we can get you know so we can get healthy it's very very important and then i'm also drinking my black coffee um so wherever i go my next apartment whatever i definitely want to have um like a balcony or some sort because i definitely want to have a place where i can have my coffee in the morning um and then i also obviously i want an apartment with a lot of sunlight but we'll see <laughs> we'll see what i can afford when i get there and things like that and see what i can find but i'm not showing you because i'm sitting right in front of my door and i don't want you to see my door number but honestly it doesn't matter because i'm moving out so the problem with me when i clean it's just like i start all sections at the same times which doesn't make any sense and then i end up with like a bunch of like unfinished little sections and then i get overwhelmed and just be like oh my goodness oh my goodness what am i doing i can't do this blah 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 it's too much and then it feels like i'm just cleaning like eternally it's just like it just doesn't stop because that's my problem i start too many things at once and then i wonder i want to sell my music player like the old kind of like vinyl player but i cannot find the plug for the life of me i don't know what bag where i put this plug in and it's driving me insane because that would have been like such a great thing to sell like for someone to kind of like enjoy which they could probably find like the plug probably on amazon or something like that i'm not sure a lot of little knickknacks that i want to kind of like get rid of um over here if anyone wants my rug how much did i pay for this rug i think i pay like 130 which was quite cheap honestly for a six by nine and i love that rug it's called the monte carlo rug i love this rug so much like oh i wish i could just pack this rug and send it with me but um i think i'm actually going to sell my dior book tote so if any of you i mean by that time i'm not sure if it's already if it had already been sold but you can dm me or email me and let me know if you are interested in buying i'm still selling my chanel pearl mules i actually kind of like fell back in love with them the other day and i was like oh actually i think i want to keep them but i want to get i i do want to um i'm just gonna get the slim backs the slim backs are more my style i'm not like a i love a good mule but i love like a summer mule um i think i prefer the gucci's not gucci's i prefer the jimmy Choo mules and the manolo's over the chanel one anytime the chanel one i don't know maybe where i'm moving now it could become my style i just feel like it's just not me honestly so if you are interested and then again like i said i've only worn the shoes about like three or four times so um i'm selling it for a decent price actually uh because remember i had to get on a plane go all the way to paris to get it <laughs> so i'm selling it for um 9.50 which includes you know like the shipping price because i want to kind of like send it via fedex and kind of like overnight it to the person which is why i'm selling it for 950 but if you want to pick it up in jersey or the city i can sell it to you for 900 and i'm a size six and a half to let you know and uh, i do want to sell the duo book to it via the real wheel but then again it's just like it takes so much of like a percentage from you it's just like it's not like it's just not even worth it i feel so um if you guys are interested in buying my dior book tote i will give you a discount for that i think with tax i ended up paying like 3500 for it so i can sell it to you at the same price it is in store without the tax so if you're interested in that i think the 
tax i think the price without the tax was 32.80 or something like that so i can sell it to you for the exact same price you know minus the tax that's if you want to pick it up in jersey or the city then we can do that i have the box and everything like everything is there so let me know i'm gonna have maria come i think maria is probably gonna come for the month of july and kind of like immerse herself in city life i mean i live in jersey but she could literally be in the city every day if she wants to by just taking the train so i think she's gonna come and then when she comes and she could do she could go over my closet to kind of like reduce it by 25 percent because right now i've reduced it to 50 percent guys i cannot believe this is happening that is the thing with me like i decide something next thing you know it happens so fast and i anticipate like again this move was supposed to happen like i said next year by my birthday like by march i wanted to be out before my birthday or yeah be out before my birthday or actually leave like the day after my birthday but um but yeah and then next thing you know it's just like it that really gets me back to the book the alchemist it is one of the greatest book out there you should read that book every year you should probably read it oh my goodness it's amazing it really tells you that when you want something and you put it out there the universe the universe is going to conspire to just lead you in that direction and actually show you the way like when i put things out there they tend to happen so so fast which is why sometimes i'm a little scared to actually kind of like put some stuff out there because i'm like oh my god like i have to make sure i'm really really ready for it okay guys the chairs have been picked up she ended up buying the chanel shoes oh what wonderful lady ended up buying chanel shoes and a skirt and um she was lovely and she's haitian too which was amazing i just love meeting my people hello guys as you can see my makeup is looking like a hot mess it looks like i have to be that on my face i don't even know how we got here but the mirror is sold oh my goodness so i have to list a few more things guess what i am actually selling the duo bag because i just realized that hey i'm kind of like gonna be on that other side of the world um it's probably going to be easier to acquire a new duo bag um although it's going to be very sad to part ways with my toile de jour because it's my favorite print i never thought i would get rid of it but then again knowing me i get bored pretty quickly it's not that i get bored with it it's just like i just think it was necessary for me to just kind of like bring it along again i am trying to reduce my suitcase to just like two large suitcases and then a little carry-on to kind of like bring my electronics and my vitamins and stuff like that um so that's the goal maybe i should bring three huge suitcases instead yeah maybe i'll do that i'll bring three suitcases it's gonna be big though um and then and then i will do a little carry-on and things like that so that is the plan again do your bag would get in the way i'm thinking of even getting rid of some of my um start bag they're like my favorite bags ever this one i'm gonna get rid of because i actually never worn this which doesn't make any sense because it's one of my favorite bags i just don't get a chance to this one i can get rid of because i've just got my money's worth out of this one so i'm okay with parting ways with this this one i could never part ways with it because it's just the coolest bag the green one i don't know the green one is so unique so i'm thinking mm, i'm not sure about the green one um in turn of designer basket bag i'm trying to see if i should get rid of one of my designer basket bag because i have three but um i just don't see that happening to be quite honest yeah i just cannot get rid of my designer basket bag i was thinking about getting rid of the louis one but then again it's just like it's louis like uh no babes you can't do that so i'm thinking maybe the chloe might be the one because i really really love the jack mousse it has that option so the chloe one is probably the one that i could actually part ways with i would be fine with that and how much should i ask for the chloe the chloe ones was 690 so 400 is reasonable so i'm gonna get back uh, rid of like two bags and things like that again 
people go just like but your place was beautiful blah 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 aren't you gonna miss all of that like you just have to understand guys as much as you may think that my job is kind of like very materialistic you know because i get a lot of stuff sent to me actually that's probably my least favorite part of what my job is the amount of stuff that i get i mean i understand it i need them to do my job but at the same time it's just like again this is not me complaining at all i'm so so grateful to be able to do this i love inspiring you guys and showing you how to style things and you know showing you things like that you know what you should think about buying and things like that like absolutely love what i do but um at the same time it's just it's just it's a lot especially for someone like me who's gone to like a spiritual journey where i just don't really feel like i i just feel like i should have just what i need not like an excess of things which is why i'm very adamant about cleaning up my closet i clear about my closet almost like every couple of months um and i have my friends come over and just like go through it and get rid of things i've already gotten rid of 50 percent of my closet but i was saying all of that to say that you know as much as you think that i may be a materialist person i am not at all in the same breath that i have all of this here like let's say tomorrow i may just like get up and just leave everything behind like i'm not i'm not attached to things i'm not even attached to people to be quite honest which is one thing that i really really love about myself yeah i'm not attached to people i'm not going to be like oh you know my family lives here then i can't go live somewhere where i want to live it's just like that just sounds crazy to me like i understand you want to be near your family but at the same time if you have a dream of your own you kind of have to go and fulfill that dream and actually at least try it because if you don't like it you can always come back but if you don't you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life you're gonna be on your deathbed at like 70 80 80 years old thinking about like you know i should have moved to, to new york city i should have moved to la i should have done this i should have done that and it's not one thing that i could say will happen to me i mean of course there's things that i wish i had done i wish i had followed my dreams like early early on i wish i didn't even have to go to school for like a legal degree um you know i wish i had just gone straight into what i really really loved but I, I wanted to have a backup just in case it you know it didn't work out it's good to have a backup and blah 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 which is like time wasted but then again everything's gonna like lead me to what i'm doing now it's just like i do believe in divine timing um so like i said this i can get almost anywhere i go um the thing is after having gone to kind of like a spiritual journey like certain books that you've read you just realize that your health like the things that we get for free we take for granted which is our health um you know the air that we breathe the sun those are the things that we take for granted but then again we cherish all those kind of like designer things like dior chanel when these things are not even that important at all if you do not have your health you do not have anything it doesn't matter if you're surrounded by chanel dior what are that gonna do for you so i think who said that i think it was either jim one or dr dyer um who said you know who said that and then i've read it like you know in many spiritual books and then i come to that realization like oh my god this entire time i've been taking kind of like my limbs for granted my senses that allowed me to just like smell things and tasting this is the thing that you should put on a pedestal not some chanel bag or chanel shoes or bottega shoes that's why when people try to front on me with designer things and i was just like okay you're just insecure because no amount of designer things can actually even do a flinch of something like i'm so confident in myself and who i am like it does not matter like nothing can really just like I don't know it's just like once you realize that if you have your health you're like the richest person on this earth like you then you know like um yeah you're not gonna flinch or fell for these things like absolutely i love the online space i love things i love beautiful things absolutely i indulge in it i love it but it's just these things do not make me happy like a lot of people do it because of their insecurity they think that if they <clears throat> if they walk around again this is not me like bad mouthing other people because that's what they do like if you love these things like absolutely do you i love them too i just do not let them control me 
you know, like other people now, some people just like want to flaunt like, oh, I'm decked out in this, I'm decked out in that. And I'm just like, okay, like, is that part of your personality? Like, what does that do for you? Like, um, it's just like, I don't know. I've always been raised. I think that's one thing I really enjoy. Like, Maria and I, we actually were going over this the other day, how we just like, we didn't have like you know we weren't rich rich growing up but like we were brought up to believe that we had the entire world we were brought up to believe that we are the richest people on earth and one of the privilege that which is why i wouldn't change me growing up in haiti not even for the world actually growing up in haiti was just like the biggest blessing to grow up on people everyone that looks like me so i really never had like that complex that oh so and so is better than me so yeah i never really had that because everyone looks like me in a way so it just kind of like you know money talks really that's the only thing but at the same time we we're brought up to believe that we were so rich like which is why like you know money doesn't really like impress is the word like those things don't really like impress me i absolutely love money but you know money is a transaction it's something that you need to live you know but then again do not let money control you because at the end of the day you are the human being even if you lose it all you can go and make it right back again like once you've gone through that phase of life when you realize that you know some people like that are like so rich they go to bankruptcy and then they come back again because once you learn like the law of kind of like how money works and things like that like even if you lose it all today you won't even flinch because like you know that you can make it all back up again so just remember that that your health is the most important thing you will ever have so you should kind of like cherish it and be grateful the first thing when i wake up in the morning that i do is just like thank god the universe for my health because without it you can't really do anything so that's the most important things you know